for a point of order. Uh, no, no, allow me to contribute. The, the, the chair <laughs> is the interested party in this debate. That's why the chair is not observing the rules strictly. Yes. <laughs> but having said that, don't also have it as an open-ended. <laughs> MP for Mandela, finish in one minute. Mr. Speaker, yeah. can I leave my point of order at this point, and then you can give me time to contribute? No, 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 just, just you have two minutes to, to, to conclude. So, Mr. Speaker, thank you very much for your indulgence. Mr. Speaker, I am requesting that if need be, Parliament must down their tools because, Mr. Speaker, this is ridiculing Parliament also in one way. We are two sets of acts of parliament that were making NGCDF constitutional. One was made illegal by the Supreme Court one month, two months ago. Another one today again by the High Court, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if that is not fighting parliament, I don't know what it means fighting parliament. And secondly, this new government of Kenya Kwanzaa, if they have no money to fund the CD, let them just say we have no money, we are broke. Instead of telling us, oh, it's the court, it's the court, it's the... I want Parliament to summon the Attorney General, summon the, uh, the Committee of Parliament, NGCF, to summon the AG, to summon the, the Minister for Finance, the Treasury PS, to summon all people in the executive who are dealing with the NGCDF so that we can face them on the eye Fair and enough. tell them that Kenyans are suffering. Mr. Speaker, thank you for your indulgence. That is why you are a good speaker, you know. 